exactly is the big deal with organic? Is it really worth the extra cost? It definitely is, and this is the reason why. Is that I'm just simply trying to tell you is that as an auntie, I don't like to see nobody get hurt, okay? We see each other again. It's the same type of things that I just mentioned that the parents could be asking. I'm an evangelist, all right? Are you guys doing? I'm Ty Smith, Mono Renaissance Man, and get ready to do another reaction video here. But it's also not just a reaction video; it is a video for someone in here who we all know. And I'm doing this like as an impromptu thing because I heard that it was your birthday, so I'm gonna do this specially for you. If y'all don't know, it's Miss Susan Andre. Okay, so Susan, you had gave me a video that you want me to do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go right into it. I'm not gonna say who it is. Well, y'all probably got it anyway because of the spoiler of the title of the song. I'm going to just say it anyway, duh. I can't even get away with that. This is Elvis, and it says One Night. I'm going to go ahead and go right on into it. Let's see what it's about.
Holy smokes. You darn right. Hey, he down. Susan? Yes, yeah, sister. Hey, oh, man. I don't know, y'all. I know I told y'all that one time that uh, that one one was my favorite performance, but I don't know. This is right here. It's kind of up there with that, man. I love that right there. Just right there with the people chilling. I'm, oh, my gosh. Let me tell you, this is what I like about this so much. No, he's passed away. But what he doing right there is a type of stuff I talk about that me and my best friend and a lot of other people from friends that I'm really, really close with that go to, to, to surround the churches. That was us right there. That was a, Elvis seemed like the type of cat I would have definitely been able to hang around. I mean, you know, if he wasn't so if he wasn't as popular as he was, put it like this. He was the type of cat that we grew up around. All of us just being in that circle, just like that. Everybody got their own instrument, just sitting there playing, just singing and rocking it out that's what we used to do i mean god that's how we became like the musicians that we are today we got we would sit there and all of us would go like two three dollars in on a pizza not a pizza but like three or four pizzas we would get those pizzas and eat man and next thing you know we we at church from nine o'clock to like one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning everybody just playing and just rocking stuff out you know perfecting our drumming skills or keyboard skills or organ skills whatever it was one of us would be playing on the drums or something like that about a half an hour going over certain songs that we then we would switch i mean that's what we did. It just that right there, what he was just doing up there on the stage just reminded me of doing that with cats I know that actually would spend some time with us, kind of helping us perfect our, you know, our musicianship, man. I absolutely love that right there. Susan Andre, you picked a good one, says. I gotta say kudos to you for that one. I mean, the last one you picked was good too and all that, but I'm just saying, this one right here was real good. I see why you liked it so much. This has some energy in it. That dude is bad. He probably lost about 10 pounds in that leather suit, though. So anyway. What did you guys think that are Elvis fans? I know y'all going to love this. probably going to be like a million y'all that want to comment off of this now because y'all love that Elvis, man. Um, where were you guys at when this was going on? What was going on in your world? What did you do when you first seen this? Were you jealous that you weren't one of those millions of chicks that was sitting there being that close to him while he was playing? What was going on in your world when this song came out? Let me know in the comments down here below. Susan, stick around. Everybody, stick around because something is special for Susan at the end of this video. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Great, check out. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. I hope you guys all have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I've been praying last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all in Jesus' name. So you going to sit up here and don't want to tell nobody it's your birthday, Susan? Hmm? You don't want to tell nobody that it's your birthday? Hmm? That's how it is, but anyway, besides you not tell nobody it's your birthday, I got a little something for you. It's going to be a little different because I'm doing it off the top of my head. I don't mean the squirrel tail, if you will, because you know how you get. You about to be like, wait, he about to do something off of his squirrel tail? No, I'm about to do a little poem from you. Okay, and this is how it goes. Susan Andre, you are always here. Even when people think you are gone, you are always here near. Sometimes you give your input. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you will. Sometimes you won't. You always say it's not what you say, it's what you do. But we always find that you always end up so confused. <laughs> gotcha. Had to tease you, but let me continue on. Sometimes you are right, and other times you are right. You always seem to run when people seem like they are about to fight. First started off as Andre, who always gave way too many songs, leaving me confused because next thing you know, your last name is Wong. Which one is it, girl? What are you trying to do to me? And oh, no, 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 no. You cannot have my weed. So again, I want to say happy birthday to you, but please, Susan Andre, you're going to still remain so confused. <laughs> God bless you, boo-boos. Bam.